guys, it's Jody. Today's video, we are continuing on with the Valspar Ultra Varathane PM mix, testing it out. Uh, the last video, we used the Australian Floetrol. So this video, we're going to use the US Floetrol cell activator, both the black and the white. So we'll do a bloom and we'll do a swipe. So let's go have some fun with that. I've got my, my hair all back ready to do this. So let's go have some fun. All right, for this first test piece, I'm doing, I'm using again a uh, six by six deep sided canvas. <clears throat> I've already put paint around the sides just to save some time. The pillow I'm gonna be using is my Glidden Premium in Satin. And we're gonna be using the same colors as the last video. I, I like to say that those are just my test colors, but in reality, they're that's probably my favorite color combo, so any excuse to use it, <laughs> I'm going to take it. Um, and just to recap, we're going to be testing out the uh, Valspar Ultra High Gloss, the Base C. And that is mixed with the Verithane Triple Thick, the water-based clear gloss at a, a ratio of three parts of the Valspar to one part of the Verithane and all of that information will be at the beginning of this video and also in the description box down below. But today we're going to be using uh, US Floetrol cell activator, the higher ratio. So I will show you those as we go along, but I just wanted to show you again the pouring medium itself just mixed up um, so you can get an idea. It is, oh, I got a few chunks in there from the side, but it, it is a little bit, it has thickened up just a little bit. And I'm noticing these paints too, when, as they sit, they kind of thicken up a little bit too. And it, it doesn't change, doesn't change the consistency too much. I'm still going to use them as is, but I noticed that it is still running off the stick really nicely. And I'm going to go over the colors again that I'm going to use. The first one I'm going to put down is the Atelier Interactive Red Gold. This is, this tube paint is really thick and it takes a lot to mix up, but this is, it almost looks, it's still running off really nicely. So we're gonna go with it, but it is a little bit on the thicker side. Let me put that one down first. A little bit more. And then the second one, I am going to put down the this little piggy pigment in Lakeside. This is really pretty blue. And the one thing I like about this pouring medium is uh, it gives a nice thickness for the uh, the fluids and the pigments. You don't really, I'm not finding I have to add a uh, bear to it or any more of the, the pouring medium base by itself, or I'm sorry, the, the Valspar Ultra base by itself, you know, to use as a thickener. I'm not finding I have to do that with this pouring medium. Seems to be thick enough. And then my last color is the Utrecht, yes, Utrecht, uh, the float acrylics in the red violet. And again, this is a Dick Blick brand. And here's the consistency again. It runs nicely off the stick and you can, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty thick for a fluid. It has thickened up a little bit too, so. Split that around. And I'm gonna switch it up and use the black cell activator uh, for this bloom. This is the US Floetrol uh, mixed with Amsterdam Oxide Black at a ratio of nine to one. Oops, and there's the consistency. And I just mixed up a fresh batch yesterday of uh, both the white and the black, just so I had fresh, 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 fresh. All right. 
and sometimes you have to let it sink just a little bit. This is the US flow trawl. Just take a little bit more to respond, but I'm wondering, it did look a little bit thick. It took a little bit longer than even for US flow trough standards to sink down. So I'm wondering um, if I just needed to add just a little bit more flow trough and, and that's okay. You know, this is the way you find out is, all right, if it's not reacting the way you want it to, or you know that it should add a little bit more flow trough if it's thicker. Plus this um, this pouring medium com combination, the Valspar with the Varathane, as you saw, it is a bit thicker than the Infinity. You saw, you've seen me use this uh, US Floetrol cell activator with the Infinity, and it reacts it reacts well. Uh, thicker pouring mediums, it takes a little bit more, but I mean it's coming in nicely here. But I think I might. I might add a little bit more flow trawl just to thin it out even more. So keep that in mind when you're, you know, when you're doing your, your pieces. I'm going to let this come up a little bit more and I'll be right back. All right. I think I'm going to make some, have some fun little swirls in here. I'm getting some really nice cells. But some of this in here I kind of want to play with. Before we spin it out. And some of this over here too will get uh, pushed over the edge. But sometimes it's fun to see like a little, a little something hanging on to the edge there. I think that looks pretty good. All right, I will meet you over at the Spinner Rocks and we will see what comes of this. All right, here's what that one looks like up close. Some nice cells came in. So we're just gonna spin this slowly so it can trickle down the sides and see what we get. nicely with this uh, pouring medium. Look at all that. Look at all those cells. And this is US flow troll. All right, we're going to go this way slowly. Mm. See, I like when there's some of the little squiggles in there. Or like if it's holding on, like right here, it's, it's hanging on for dear life. I might have to do one more spin though. Let's see, yeah, there's not... Not much movement, actually. I think I'm gonna... Oh, uh, yeah, there's a little bit here. Let me take off. So 
just a little bit over this way and just do a baby spin. I think we're good. I think we're there. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh gosh, this is gorgeous. For this second test piece again this is a six by six deep sided and I've already done the sides of the canvas just to save time same pillow the Glidden premium satin whoa a little bit too much going over the sides um, we're gonna do a swipe for this one and we're gonna use the white US Floetrol cell activator which should be interesting because I've not used the um, white cell activator any white cell activator by itself uh for a palette knife swipe so that should be that should be interesting i'm excited to see what that looks like so i'm going to use this nut this palette knife and i'm going to put the uh the white cell activator on first and then i'll layer the colors and i'll show you before before i uh swipe but this is the cell activator. It is U.S. Floetrol mixed with Amsterdam titanium white at a ratio of 10 to 1. And I, again, I just mixed this up yesterday, so it's a fresh batch. And I think I'm going to do one swipe kind of like so. And I'll show you what my knife looks like with my color all loaded up on it. Kind of like that. I've got the cell activator, then I put the red violet first, the lakeside pigment, and then the uh, red gold tube paint. So we're just gonna go right here and swipe. Kind of like that. We'll see what cells come up again. This is U.S. Floetrol, so it may take a minute. Well, it will take a minute. <laughs> I think I'm going to take this little guy and swipe this way. I've got a bunch of cell activator. Still floating on there. See if I can get some of that moving. Some of that moved. Mm, a little... Mm. This is really cool with the with the white. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put some cell activator on here and just kind of swipe this a little. No, actually, I'm gonna do it right here. I changed my mind. Last second, kind of like that. We're just gonna go. with it and see if that does anything to get my trusty straw out to help I'm really digging these little cells in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit something something here and so I really like what's happening here and so I want to keep this as the focus in the middle and get the rest to come off. of white, just white cells that have popped up in the middle of the color. All right.
made that worse. Yeah, we'll see. It may actually come off too. I'm not really worried about that. All right, I'm stopping. I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna move this piece around. I'll, I will meet you over at the spinner box. All right, here's what that looks like before we start moving it around. I'm gonna kind of guide it where I want it to go, and then do some soft spins. spin really like what's on here move it back this way a little there we go. get some of that blue off over here and bring it back those little fingers did not work out for me, but that's okay. We'll just get rid of it a little bit more. Okay. Just bring it back just a little. My paint is still moving, but I, I want to try and save most of this. I'm just going to do little spins. moving down. We're almost there. I'm really digging using the white cell activator. And these cells, it just looks like a rainbow. It's so cool. And I love how it just fades off right here. more we don't have a lot there's a little bit of movement but I'm not I'm not overly concerned with it I think it's gonna be okay and I just being picky for a second here just to get my orientation how I want it A little bit more this way and then I think we're good and then just a yep we're there we're there I'm not sure on my orientation but I just wanted this piece going across like this I almost like it that way Ooh. like I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of both of these ones all right here is the flyover of this guy I love these little I guess you call them peacock cells now we're all we're multicolors multicolors come it come up through the cells uh, I guess I guess that they're called peacock cells now so yeah definitely can happen with the uh, US Floetrol cell activator and this pouring medium. I love how the lake side is, is, has kind of a ring with the orange coming through. Just gorgeous. And then this here with the black and the orange and then just a little bit of the, the red violet and the, the lake side pigment. And these little cells in here. Love it. Here's the flyover of this guy. I love these little, see those little ghost cells in there? <laughs> They're hiding. 
I love those. I'm really digging the white cell activator with the colors and these cells, little ghost cells going off there as well are just amazing. I'm super pleased with this. I love the, the subtle sparkles in here. It looks, it kind of looks like a caterpillar right there. And this, well, normally you would call it flocculation because it's kind of almost looks like it's separating a little bit. The way it's just kind of flowing into the white, I dig it. It's it's it it adds to it instead of takes it away. So sometimes think of it that way. If you have flocculation, if it's in the if it's in the right place, it's gonna add to your piece and not take away from it. So I am super excited to see these two dried. So I will be back once these are dried to give you the results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the two test pieces you just saw me do with the uh, with the US flow trial cell activator. And it, they both just dried beautifully. And I'm excited to say that this the it works well with both the Australian flow trial cell activator and the US flow trial cell activator. So here's the bloom, just as a whole before I get in with the the details. But it just dried beautifully, and you can see the. Uh, the high gloss of the Valspar Ultra. And then again, you're gonna find some areas because the, depending on how much cell activator you use, there will be a, a little bit more matte parts where that has touched or where it's kind of layered over. And that's, I mean, that's typical of any cell activator and any uh, pouring medium, really. And it's a non-issue if you're varnishing or resining, so. but. Let's get in a little bit closer so you can see more of the details and all these little cute little cells came up and they just dried really nice. There's that one and the swipe. I was pleasantly surprised and I, I was pleasantly surprised with the, cause I use, normally I use, uh, black cell activator just to kind of get a, give the contrast. So I thought, now, nah, you know what, let's, let's flip it. Let's use the white cell activator and on the white pillow and see what happens. And it just made this really soft, soft picture. And I'm not even sure of the orientation on it yet, but it's just gorgeous. And you can see the, the pigment in there. It just dried really nicely. And the cells popped up. I mean, it just looks like it's swishing along there. So neat. And again, you're going to find the, um, the matte and the gloss with the cell activator and the pouring medium. I love these. It's almost like there's hidden cells right here. You see that? And then I think there was another spot too. Maybe not. I think that might have been it. No, nope, wait. Yeah, you can see in the light, the little hidden cells. You can't really see it too much directly on in the camera, but you can in person, but I just love this one. This might be my favorite out of the two. And I, I like all the orientations. I can't, I can't decide, but it's just this one. This one turned out super special. So my conclusion with the Valspar Ultra High Gloss and then the Varathane Triple Thick, uh, the Clear Gloss Varnish, that, that is my magic combination. You might use, you know, maybe you use the Valspar Ultra already with the Josonia or another varnish and it works great for you. That's totally awesome. Keep doing it. But this is what I found that works well for me. And if you, you know, if you, any of you want to try it or, you know, you're thinking about a different pouring medium or the infinity, I know it's pricey. This is, could be a little bit more budget friendly, but it works really well as you saw with both the uh, Australian Floetrol cell activator and the US Floetrol cell activator. So totally give it a go and let me know what you think in the comments below. I always want to hear what you have to say. So next video, I am going to now move on to the Valspar Ultra, the semi-gloss, and I want to show you what that does with both the Australian Floetrol and then the the US Floetrol. So with that, I had so much fun creating this video today. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.